So Bilbao Metro has three lines, L1, L2 and L3, and as of today, August 2019, does not link directly to the airport. Uh, it also has three zones, as you can see in the image, and the price of a ticket will depend on how many zones you cross. If you're planning on doing a lot of travelling, it would be well worth getting a Barrick card, available pretty much in every metro stop, that's B-A-R-I-K, as they only cost a couple of euros, and you can just top it up and reuse the same card on each journey. Now, the primary benefit is that the card itself essentially cuts the cost of each fare by about 50%, but admittedly the cost of a fare is quite reasonable already, generally a couple of euros per trip. Now, we'd recommend starting any trip in Bilbao in the Old Town, as per the pin below, where you can also find the covered market just to the south of the Old Town. Uh, worth pointing out too the location of the famous Bizkai Bridge to the west, which is quite popular with tourists and offers a spectacular viewing platform for around eight euros. Uh, also note Getsco just above this, where we happen to stay, which is a lovely, charming little seaside town it's only about 25 minutes from the city on the metro and basically the gateway to the beaches that surround Bilbao. So this is Bilbao. The city certainly has a great metro but can easily be explored on foot if you have time. Bilbao is a wonderful old town and is marked as a blue circle below. Uh, cobbled streets, plenty of restaurants and loads of shops makes it a perfect place to start. Um, just north of the old town you have the funicular, the orange circle. That will take you high up onto a hill that overlooks Bilbao. Spectacular views across the city, very good value as it only costs around a euro for a return ride and it generally goes every 15 minutes. Uh, the Guggenheim Museum is a central attraction in Bilbao and even the building and surrounding statues are impressive to visit. It's essentially a museum of modern and contemporary art and there's a great variety of different exhibitions and collections. It costs around 17 euros per adult, children under 12 are free uh, but do be warned the museum is closed most Mondays. And finally for all those football fans, why not pay a visit to La Catedral, home to Atletico Bilbao and a very impressive looking stadium. Uh, tours are available and prices depend on whether you visit the stadium and or museum, but are between 5 to 14 euros. So the city centre itself is very child friendly and most of the activities mentioned already are suitable for children. Bilbao has plenty of large parks that are worth exploring, but a good day out with the kids would be to visit the city beaches near Getzko. And also in Getzko, you'll find the aquarium. It's incredibly reasonable, where adults cost three euros and children cost around two euros, whilst under threes are free. There are an abundant amount of towns and cities close by to Bilbao that are worth visiting if you have time. Santander in Orange is around 100 kilometers away and will take you about an hour and 10 minutes to drive from Bilbao. There is a very central underground parking complex right off the main road as you come into the city and a really good hop on hop off bus that will help you explore. And the city is surrounded by beautiful beaches and has a lovely cathedral which is free to look around. Close to Santander is the beautiful old town of Santillana del Mar and a firm tourist hotspot, shown in the map as a blue circle. Not the easiest place to park, but a lovely place to walk around and have some food. On the other side of Bilbao to the east, you have San Sebastian in green, 
and practically identical in distance and time from Bilbao at around 100 kilometers an hour and 10 minutes to drive. The town is famed for its long promenade and picturesque setting and there's a brilliant funicular nearby that provides panoramic views over the town and the beautiful Basque countryside. The funicular costs around four euros for an adult return and under sevens are around two and a half euros. At the top is also a sweet little fairground with various rides for children where each ride only accepts cash and costs around two and a half euros but very young children are free. And do note there is an ATM at the entrance back at ground level so take out cash before you travel up the funicular as there are no ATMs at the top. And worth noting just along the coast from San Sebastian is a beautiful little town called Honduribia which sits on the Spanish-French border and again provides a lovely setting for a stroll and some food.